keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hello, welcome to this video from footballbetdata.com. Um, today I'm going to be showing you something really simple and straightforward that you can use from our basic uh, fixtures and results uh, data output. Um, what I'm going to do is look at the English domestic leagues for the last um, five seasons. So select all the leagues. I'm going to select the conference as well. Um, so I'm going to include this season, previous season, um, and then the previous four to that as well. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and the current season. Um, I'm going to download that to Excel now. Once that's downloaded to Excel, um, what I'm going to do is add in two helper columns. Now, the simple task that I'm going to do in this video is show you how profitable teams are when they're playing at home and when they're playing away. So very top level um, a summary for the last five and a bit seasons, perhaps to gauge where uh, bookmakers constantly over or undervalue uh, teams when they're playing at home um, or away. And you can develop that further then and uh, look at sort of teams that regularly um, are profitable on the over two and a half goals market, for instance, um, and deep dive into that a bit further. So I'm going to show you here, it's nothing uh, too technical in Excel, but it may help some of you and it may give you generate ideas um, for, for other things that you can look at with some of our data. So what I'm going to do, first of all, actually, is take out all the games that are yet to be played. So I'm just going to scroll to the bottom uh, here, take out all these games. Now I've just used the shift control arrow down. So we have up into the games that were played uh, yesterday, 26th um, of September, 2021. Now I'm gonna scroll over to the right-hand side and take the next available uh, blank column. And I'm gonna call this one home prof. And then I'm gonna call the one next to it away prof. Now, very simple calculation. Uh, and what we're gonna do here is look at uh, using the if formula, we're gonna say if the result equals a home win and that's in brackets because it's text then we want to return and we're going to use the average odds here i'm going to put a bracket here take away one which is the stake and then times it by 10. so what we're saying is if that uh, fulham won the home game which they did in this instance what would be the returns to the average bookmaker odds using a 10 pound stake and that would be 28 pound 50. If the value is false, i.e. if the test is false, so it wasn't a home win, then we'd lose our stake, minus 10, okay? And we'll do the same for the away. I'm gonna just copy that bit of code and amend it rather than starting from scratch. So we can say if uh, F2 is A, we wanna focus on the average away odds, minus one, and that'll give us the calculation and show us there. Now I'm gonna convert that to, um, the pounds currency format and double click and that will fill that automatically all the way down to the bottom there. Now separate tab and we're going to use a trusty pivot table and we'll select the full data range and I'm going to look at the home teams first uh, by season so we already have seasons loaded in here and where the home team profit uh, as a sum and that sorted it automatically alphabetically so if we want to look at it um, in terms of profit high to low we can see we've sorted up there I'm just going to put a filter on here as well so you can see in the black so the most profitable team Plymouth and you can see in each of the last five and so far this season Backing every one of those games with a home uh, that Plymouth have played at home in the league to a £10 stake would have given you a profit each season, sort of break even in 18, 19. And this is using average odds. So you could probably find odds um, 5, 10, maybe even 15% higher than that if you used a odds checker or even betting exchanges, for instance. But a level profit of £254 overall from those, um, those five and a bit seasons. And then you can see below Watford, um, another team that each season they've been uh, they've been profitable. So that includes where Watford have been promoted and relegated from the Premiership 
in each of those seasons they've they've, they've outperformed the bookmakers um estimated odds and they're 233 pound profitable then you've got wickham slight loss in there crawley and you can scroll all the way through um and what i'm going to do quickly is just look at the who's down the bottom so you'd expect there to be a big biggest teams that are probably constantly uh underpriced sorry over yeah underpriced overpriced sorry uh and underrepresented so sunderland there you go so constantly the bookmakers odds um are lower people are backing them seeing them as a fancy favorite and apart from this season uh which is only obviously four or five games old for their home record they've been uh a losing bet as a as a as the for, for the full season for the previous five um you've got rochdale in there as well strangely enough um, Barnet have spent most of their time in the conference, and you can flick all the way through the uh, through the list there. Um, so that's a very simple analysis that you can do top level to see where teams perhaps are under or overpriced um, when they're playing at home. Now let's look at the the same again, and let's use the away uh, away team. So we're going to look at the same data range. You could copy the previous pivot table and just change some of the fields in there but i'll recreate it it's quick enough to do so we want the away team the away profit and i'm going to put in there the seasons as well change that count to sum and again it's sorted it alphabetically by default i just change that currency sorry so it's um red where there's a negative and i'm going to do a sort on that wrong way there we go crystal palace top of the tree so crystal palace away from home mainly due to a good 18 19 season uh, they might have had uh, i don't don't really know too much about what crystal palace did in that season but for instance if, if crystal palace won away at man united man city liverpool um you would expect their odds to be sort of 10 15 20 to 1 plus um, and that can generate a profit that would cover the whole season with a few other wins in there on all on its own so that could be an anomaly um, but yeah you can see crystal palace top top of the tree maidenhead in the conference bristol city um, a couple of losing seasons five four five years ago um, but the last three and the current season to date they've been uh, outperforming the bookies expectations as have wolves um, and then you've got Burnley up there as well. Um, if we scroll right the way down to the bottom, let's see who's at the bottom. Uh, so Stoke. Stoke have been uh, a, a losing bet throughout each of the last five seasons and that's currently the same. Uh, they're on a losing trend as well. And then you've got the likes of Rotherham, Warsaw, uh, Barry, who are now no longer in existence, Port Vale, Bristol Rovers. So it's a very, it's, it's an interesting way of giving you a top level um analysis and again like i said this is using average odds um as to how teams have performed um playing at home or away from home um this can then be developed further as i said at the beginning of the video if you want to look at the uh, teams that profit using over um over two and a half goals you do that instead of using the if formula looking at a home win you would say if the total goals exceeded two and then you'd reference the um the over two and a half goal column there so just a quick video just to show you very simply how you can use our data exported in seconds analyzed in a I mean minutes um, and there you have some uh, some interesting output to uh, follow up from